Hello and Assalamu Alaikum. This is lecture number 16 and in this part of the lecture I will discuss the various uh, uh, types of photovoltaic cell and the main discussion will be about single crest line silicon. So there, these are the basically six main types of photovoltaic cells or solar cells. The first one is single crystalline silicon. The second one is polycrystalline and semi crystalline silicon. Uh, the next one is thin film cell, amorphous silicon, concentrator cell, and multi junction cell. So, basically, the type of solar cell that is being uh, defined uh, majorly depends upon the structure of the silicon that is being used in the photovoltaic cell. So now I will discuss about the first one that was the single crystalline cell. The single crystalline silicon, the majority of uh, silicon solar cells are fabricated from uh, silicon wafers which may be either single crystalline or multi crystalline. Single crystalline wafers uh, typically uh, have better material parameters. Uh, but as compared uh, to the other technologies or other uh, solar cells, uh, they are considered to be more expensive. Crystalline silicon has an ordered uh, crystal structure with each atom ideally uh, lying in a predetermined position. Crystalline silicon exhibits predictable and uniform behavior. But because of the careful and slow uh, manufacturing process, it is a uh, more expensive type of silicon. So, first of all, raw silicon is uh, melted and uh, purified in uh, a cubic, uh, uh, cubicle, then uh, a, a seed crystal is placed and pure liquid silicon and drawn at slow rate which creates a solid single crystalline cylindrical igmo i will show it in the next slide slow and energy intensive manufacturing process results in a higher cost and uh, that is around 20 to 25 dollars per pound. Ingot slice uh, used uh, diamond saw into 200 micrometer or uh, 400 micrometer thick wafers. Wafers are cut into rectangular sections to optimally fit in the rectangular panel. The problem with a uh, single crystalline cell is the uh, that half of the silicon is wasting uh, wasted uh, during the uh, cutting process and in fitting process the solution to this type of problem is uh, we should either grow silicon crystals into ribbons or make large round panels the single crystalline cell has energy uh, conservation uh, conversion efficiency of 14 to 18 percent. The regular arrangement of silicon atom in single crystalline silicon produces a well defined uh, branded structure. Each silicon atom has uh, you know four electrons in their uh, outermost shell. Pairs of electrons from uh, neighboring atoms are shared so each atom shares four bonds with the neighboring atom single crystalline uh, silicon uh, is usually uh, grown as a large cylindrical igner producing circular or semi sphere solar cells the uh, semi sphere cell uh, uh, started out uh, circular but has uh, 
had the edges cut off so that a uh, number of cells can be more efficiently packed into a rectangular module so uh, this is the basic uh, structure this is the inlet and here in this part the molten uh, molten uh, silicon is filled and these are the heater coils used for uh, heating uh, the uh, silicon material and this is the uh, crucible which contains this whole structure and the end result which produces a single crystalline structure is a large silicon uh, uh, single crystalline photovoltaic cell.